All right, Jackson, how were the Bahamas, man? Uh, it was good. It was good just kind of getting out there. I'd never been out there before, so it was fun uh, just being with my teammates and, uh, you know, just kind of having some big moments. Uh, not every day can you do things like going to the Bahamas and competing uh, to play against some of the best competition. Uh, so it was just a great experience. First two games didn't go your way. Tough uh, losses to USC and Butler, close ones. And then Dayton, you're down 23. You guys tried to see how far you could go down and still come back. <laughs> we think it's the second largest comeback in BYU history. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So walk me through this first play where you guys are down 20. You get a fortuitous bounce back to you for three. It was just kind of a broken play. Foos got the ball at the top of the key. You could kind of see he was trying to figure out what he should do with it. And he found Richie. Richie attacked, got to the cup, and got blocked somehow fell on my lap and I felt like I was wide open and I knocked it down. What did it mean to see that first one go through? Because you start a 4-23 from three. We've seen you practicing after games on the court behind Spencer in the post game. Mm -hmm. To see that first one go down, what did that mean? You know, it was just kind of a next play mentality. Uh, I mean, the game was happening so fast. We were down so big, just shooting it with confidence and knowing that it was gonna go in was just the biggest thing for me and then moving on to the next play. Okay, and one of those next plays is this crazy bounce where you get it on a break for a dunk. <laughs> yeah, uh, Foos did a great job of uh, just kind of staying solid in the post there. The guy kind of threw a crazy pass. I was not my man, Rudy, had seen kind of where he was wanting to go because Foos had cut everything off. G was kind of just surveying the floor, figuring out what he could do, and Rudy saved it. Somehow I bounced my way again. <laughs> <laughs> it goes Rudy to Dallin off of Foos up to you. Yeah. And then I love the social media post by BYU Basketball. Ave Maria, the bench all excited, yeah. and the throwdown. That nah, was a great moment, for sure. And, and you seem to be a, a chill guy, a quiet guy. Did I see a yell there? You did, you did. It doesn't happen very often. Some expression there? I had to. That was a big moment. It was a big um, moment. Yeah, late in the game. Uh, you guys are down five. You've, you've come back. You did this the previous two games, but you guys get over the hump in this one. Mm -hmm. um, there's an opportunity here where Dallin finds you in the corner. Dallin just does a great job of coming off those ball screams and probing, seeing the open man, getting down to the basket, looking for KDAs, playing off two feet, things like that. It was just kind of a feel corner feel. I was kind of spaced up for a second and came down, seeing he was attacking the basket and knocked it down. When did you feel like, okay, we could actually do this? I honestly would say the beginning of the second half. Um, coach kind of came in, got on us. Everybody was really upset with the performance that we put up in the first half. Um, but we knew we just couldn't hang our heads on it and we had to move on. And uh, everybody came with the energy in the second half and I could feel it. And I mean, we just progressed our way back into that lead. Okay, soon after, you take the lead right here because you have this uh, sweet dish to get in. Did you see him out of the corner of your eye quick? I did, I did. I seen the defender coming to me. I knew as soon as he come, came to me, I seen G in the corner, so I just had to quick one more. He was wide open. I knew he was gonna knock it down. You still wanna finish the deal, but to take the lead yeah. after being down 23 in this moment, what was that like? Specifically this play, I'm honestly really proud of our team. Uh, this play kind of just shows the progression that we've made this season, uh, even though we've lost three games. Just to go up on this play, great ball movement, great find by Foose. It was just a great play. Okay, then in overtime, you take the lead for good on another corner three, this time on the other side. Uh, it was a great find by Rudy. Just kind of drawing the defense and seeing that my man was going to help and just kind of getting it to me in the corner. I knew I was going to be open, so I just let it fly and went in. It was fun when it's right in front of your bench too, right? Exactly. Having my guys behind me cheering me on. Okay, and then this one's from deep, man. Dallin does a nice job getting in the paint here. Yeah, he did a great job all game, just kind of attacking. Uh, you see at the beginning, gives us a shot fake and kind of gets to the middle, figures out what's open. He sees G, but he also sees me in the corner of his eye through the no look, and I just happened to be out there. <laughs> so I just let it fly from where I was. And look, you're a guy on the end of the bench, hands up before you even shoot it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's my guy trading. Well, what's happened with your three-pointer? Because you found it the last couple of games shooting 50%. Yeah, uh, I mean, I would just say it's just confidence uh, and just all the reps and the work that I put in uh, day in, day out. Um, the film sessions with Keegan, uh, just all the stuff all together just keeping the confidence and knowing that my teammates and my coaches have my back also, no matter what I'm shooting from the field. They just know that I'm a shooter and 
just to keep shooting. How good of a shooter was your mom back in the day? Because we showed some pictures of her when we played at Missouri State here. <laughs> uh, she, she was the baller. I heard she wasn't the shooter. It was my aunt, but my mom was uh, a foreman, and so she uh, did a lot of work in the post. So yeah. now, now, 30 years ago, you would have been a foreman, six foot seven. Yeah, so now, not for sure. Now you're just a wing that shoots threes, right? <laughs> for sure. That's awesome, sure. man. Yeah. Well, congratulations and good luck this week. Thank you. Appreciate it.